Hey everyone, it's Elizabeth. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I love all things nails and beauty, so if you're interested in that, you should totally subscribe. In this video, I have a live swatch and review of the brand new White Hot Collection from China Glaze. This is their Summer 2020 Collection, and upon further inspection, they probably all look like white nail polishes, which they are, but they're a bunch of diff different variations of white. So we have six nail polishes here. We have an off-white, we have a pure white, we have some shimmers and glitter. So I'm really excited to swatch this collection and share it with you. China Glaze was kind enough to send me this collection free of a charge for my honest review, and I always am honest in my swatch and review videos. So if you end up being interested in this collection, check out the description box. I will have links where you can purchase this collection, and without further Further ado, let's get into the swatches. This first polish is called Off White On, and I'm assuming by the name it's going to be an Off White, and you can see that it is very sheer on this first coat, so it will take probably at least three coats to become completely opaque. And it is a tad streaky, so I would say if you wanted this one just like as a nice sheer white polish, you might have to play around with it just a little bit in order to get it a little bit less streaky. There is the first coat. Here is the second coat. And the color does build up just a little bit on that second coat, so it's not quite as sheer, but it is still a tad streaky, so I'm definitely going to do a third coat. But the formula is pretty easy to work with, and I love that China Glaze, I think they've had it for a few years now, but the wider brush. I love that brands have started to incorporate a wider brush with their polishes because I find a wider brush is a lot easier to work with than a regular thinner brush. Just my personal preference. But there are two coats. Here's the third coat. And this one is like... Hard to describe, it's definitely not like completely opaque because this is definitely more of a sheer polish, but it covers completely in three coats. It's hard to describe the consistency of this one. It's not a jelly-like polish, but it's definitely got a sheer, almost milky formula. So if you are looking for an opaque white, this is not going to be it for you, but if you are looking for this pretty kind of more of a, like a neutral white because it's not super stark white, like super bright white, then this will definitely be a nice polish for you. This polish is called Summer Moon, and I think this is pretty much like the white polish in the collection, like the pure white polish, because the rest of them are kind of shimmery or different variations of a white. And this one has a pretty decent coat or formula for the first coat. It is a tad streaky and it's definitely not completely opaque, but I definitely think it will be completely opaque in two coats. So if you are looking for a nice white, I think this will be a nice one for you, but we'll see what two coats looks like, but it's a super easy formula to work with. All right, so here's the second coat. And this one does cover completely in two coats, which is awesome because I'm always looking for white nail polishes because I use them a lot for nail art, using them as a base for gradients. I never really do water marbling, but if I were to do water marbling, I love using a white base, and I just love incorporating white into nail art, just in general. So I'm always looking for a nice white nail polish. My usual go-to is OPI Alpine Snow, but I have a feeling that I'll definitely be going to this one because it's got an incredible formula. It dries really fast, and it just covers really nicely on the nails. So I'm really impressed with this one. If you are looking for a new white nail polish that is a pure white, I would definitely recommend this one. This is called Pearl Talk, and this is a very pearlescent white polish. Kind of leaning a little bit more on the silver side because it does have all that pearlescent shimmer in it. But this one has a really decent formula. Really super easy to work with. It is just a tad bit on the streaky side, but I think two coats will definitely make this one a bit more even. And since it is pretty metallic and pearlized, you'll want to be careful with your brush strokes. It does seem to be self-leveling pretty nicely, but you'll just want to make sure that you have nice and even brush strokes. Here's the second coat. And this one does cover really nicely in two coats. Again, like I said, because it is pretty metallic and pearlized, 
you just want to be careful of your brush strokes, making sure they're nice and even. A good top coat should definitely even out your brush strokes. But if you just want a nice professional looking manicure, you just want to make sure that your lines are nice and straight. This honestly is probably not a polish that I would personally wear, but it is still really fun and definitely unique. I don't have anything like this in my collection. So there are two coats. This polish is called Spritzer Sister, and this is a cloudy sheer white base with some gorgeous iridescent circular glitters. This is so fun because the base kind of color corrects your nail bed, but then those sparkles in there are absolutely gorgeous. So this is a super fun polish to wear on its own, just over your natural nail to give it some extra sparkle. And I will do two or three coats just to see how the color builds up. But this one would be really fun over just really any nail polish color or a white to make it super fun and sparkly. Here's the second coat. And this one you can just see that the kind of cloudy base adds just a bit more color to this one. I think I'll only do two coats just because this obviously is not going to be completely opaque and it's not meant to be, but this is such a fun polish and honestly I'm really loving it over my natural nail. I just think it's so fun and I'm really excited to wear this over different colors too. So check out my Instagram where I will be posting wearing this over different colors because I'm so excited about this one. I really love it. This one's called Hey Chardonnay Hey, and this has that white base with some gorgeous gold shimmer. So I love shimmery polishes for summer because it's the one time a year we actually get sun pretty consistently where I live, and I love seeing my nails shimmer in the sunlight. Something about shimmery polish and natural light just makes me really happy. So I'm really excited about this one because I think it'll look gorgeous in the sunlight. Here's the second coat. The first coat dried just a little bit weird because, I've mentioned this before in my videos, I use cuticle butter in between swatches to keep my cuticles looking nice, and sometimes I don't clean my nail beds all the way and the polishes dry just a little bit weird on the first coat, so that's why. But it doesn't really affect the opacity of it at all. The formula is pretty nice on this one, but it is a little bit sheer, so this one is definitely going to take three coats to become completely opaque. You could definitely wear this one in two, but I can still see my nail line a little bit and some bare patches, so I am going to do three coats, but this is such a beautiful and unique polish. So here's the third coat, and this one does cover completely in three coats. And like I said, I am just completely obsessed with this one. This is super unique. I have absolutely nothing like this in my collection. And like I said, I really love shimmery polishes for the summer, so this is definitely going to be one that I wear a lot, I think. I can definitely see myself getting a lot of wear out of this one. And I just really love the gold shimmer, especially if I get a little bit more of a tan. I think it will look really good with my skin tone. So there are three coats, and I really love this one. This last polish is called Savignon and On, and this is similar to the last polish with that kind of milky white base, but this one has some lavender and fuchsia shimmer in here. Fun fact, right before I swatched this polish, I just spilled half the bottle on my nail table. So I'll have that to clean up after. I didn't realize the cap was off and I went to pick it up and I dropped the whole bottle. But it's fine. This one is really gorgeous. It's got a great formula. Obviously it's sheer, but this one will definitely build up in two to three coats. Here's the second coat. And this one does cover really nicely in two coats. I think I'll still do a third just to see if I can make my nail line completely disappear but it's got, again, beautiful shimmer, so this will be really pretty in the sun, and I'm really excited to wear this one for summer. So there are two coats. Here's the third coat of this polish, and this one does cover completely in three. I was just staring at it. I thought it was so pretty. I really like this one, and I'm not the biggest fan of pink, but I think this, since this one is white-based with a little bit of that pink shimmer, it's definitely tolerable for me. And I think this one is going to be really great for this summer. And it's super unique. I don't have anything like this in my collection. So that's why I love getting unique polishes that I don't have anything like it in my collection. Because it just makes the polish more exciting to me. So there are three coats. 
So that is it for my review of the China Glaze White Hot Collection. I am really impressed with this collection. At first, when I saw that the collection was just going to be all white nail polishes, I wasn't sure what to think of it, even though I love wearing white nail polishes for summer. I just wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this collection, but overall, I really love it. I think these polishes are all pretty unique, and if you are looking for a really nice pure white, there is a perfect one, that Summer Moon polish in this collection, that'll be great for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm getting really close to 10,000 subscribers, so that would be amazing if we could do it before the end of the year, and I'll definitely have some big things planned for when I hit 10,000 subscribers, so you won't want to miss out on that. So again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!